All right, so in this video, we are going to be talking through health and personal care on a trip. So these things are important to keep in mind, not only for your experience on the trip, but also simply for your ability to fully participate and help fulfill the mission of the trip. So the following list of tips for properly taking care of yourself on a trip may seem obvious, however, we encourage you to watch this entire video and keep in mind how to have a better mission trip experience. And we know that mission trips get you out of your comfort zone and that this is a good thing and you will get out of your comfort zone on this trip. However, certain discomforts that would impact your health and ability to fully serve um, and experience the trip can be avoided. Also, if you are nervous about experiencing a medical emergency on the trip, we want to encourage you right now to not let fear hold you back. This will be an amazing trip and we do everything we can to practice wisdom to ensure your health and safety on these trips. However, if someone needs medical attention, we will have access to local medical professionals, but hopefully keeping these tips in mind and you taking that personal responsibility also helps to ensure your health and safety. So the first tip is to wear sunscreen. Now, I know this sounds like something that your mom would say, but she's right. She's not wrong. Um, the Bahamas is known for its sunny weather, obviously, and so it's always recommended to wear sunscreen to prevent an uncomfortable sunburn and fine lines and wrinkles one day, you know? So um, pack your sunscreen. However, make sure to check that that old bottle of sunscreen that you're about to pack is not expired. So the next tip is to stay hydrated. I need to tell myself this. Um, we, I know, I sound like your mother again, so no one plans to get dehydrated, right? So in order to avoid getting dehydrated, you must be intentional at drinking water. So pack your favorite water bottle and encourage one another on the trip to drink water frequently since we will be quite active. And if water is not your favorite, um, bring some flavor packets, electrolyte tablets are even better. Next is to remember to eat. Now I really sound like your mother. Um, so I'm sure you have experienced when you ride on a plane, um, they tell you that in an event, in an emergency, put on your own oxygen mask prior to helping others. Likewise, we encourage you to stay fueled on this trip, both spiritually and physically, so that you can have the energy that you need to serve others. So especially when it comes to eating, that's going to help you to have that energy to serve. Now, sometimes travel can affect your appetite, um, or perhaps you're nervous about not being able to eat your normal diet or trying new foods. However, out of respect for those who prepare our meals and to make sure you are getting fueled, we encourage everyone to try eating something at mealtimes. Now, sometimes our schedule changes on trips impacting our mealtime. So if you tend to get low blood sugar or get hangry like myself, um, pack some snacks. It also helps to pack some bland snacks like crackers or pretzels just in case you need something to spark your appetite or you're not feeling well. Um, if you have concerns about a particular dietary preference or food allergy, please speak to your trip leaders before going on the trip so that we can make sure that there is a plan in place for you to be able to eat. Next is dealing with tummy troubles. Um, you may be wondering if you have to worry about food poisoning since we'll be traveling to another country. Now, thankfully, we have never had an issue with food poisoning on past trips to the Bahamas. However, whenever you are eating in a different country, sometimes your body can have a bit of a reaction. So just in case you experience stomach discomfort, 
bring some over-the-counter Tums, Pepto-Bismol, or probiotics. Um, we also recommend that you bring some Cipro, spelled C-I-P-R-O. Um, this is a medication that treats bacterial infections just to have on hand for peace of mind. So simply ask your doctor for a prescription for Cipro, explaining to them that you will be traveling internationally. However, be advised that sometimes doctors require a wellness visit prior to writing a prescription, so just plan accordingly with your schedule. And this will only be needed, you know, if you absolutely need it. It's just to have for peace of mind. And remember that we will have access to local medical professionals if necessary. So the other tip is to bring some protective gear. So if you're worried about how the elements, which aren't going to be much different than Florida, if you're coming from Florida, um, if you're worried about how those elements are gonna affect your body, bring the right protective gear. Hat, sunglasses help a lot. If you're worried about bug bites, bring your favorite bug spray. I have my preferences for bug spray. So if you wanna know a good deep free bug repellent, just reach out to me. Next tip is to make sure that you get some rest on the trip. This can be a hard one. Um, you know, mission trips are incredibly fun and it is not uncommon to want to stay up late talking with your teammates and that's not a problem. And while we encourage team bonding, we also simply encourage you to be mindful of getting adequate rest, to have the energy that you need for the whole reason why you're on the mission trip, for our daily activities. and. Getting adequate rest can already be difficult when you are in a new environment and you're not at home sleeping in your own bed. So simply be mindful of what you may need to do to help yourself get the rest that you need. Only you truly know what that looks like for you and the kind of rest that you need um, to help you sleep better. So whether this means that you're listening to a sleep app like Abide or reading or praying before bed, taking melatonin, um, getting adequate rest is going to help prevent you not only from getting sick, but also from being prone to crankiness, which then impacts our activities. All right, so this particular tip, um, it's such an, an easy you know, thing to make a mistake on, um, but it's so preventable. So bring shoes that are comfortable and safe. So one way to com help combat unnecessary physical discomfort on a trip is by being kind to your feet um, since they will be used a lot. So when it comes to packing shoes for the trip, keep in mind the kind of activities that your trip leader has informed you you will be participating in and what the appropriate shoes will be. Make sure that you have shoes that will be comfortable and supportive for walking as well as providing proper protection for your feet during more rigorous activities. So. Whenever I'm traveling internationally, I always pack Chacos. However, Chacos, because they're open-toed, are not the best for every kind of activity. So I always have to keep that in mind. Um, and yes, you may want to pack some other shoes for nicer church outfits, but we still recommend these being comfortable shoes. And remember, if you're planning on bringing new shoes on a trip, it's always a good idea to break them in ahead of time. Since you will be walking a lot, we want to prevent blistering or other discomfort and we don't recommend bringing your favorite trendy shoes or anything flashy simply bring what will be most functional for this particular trip so now we're at the awkward one but actually i want to say that it's not awkward so this is simply a reminder that if you have concerns about your health on the trip you don't have to feel awkward about telling your trip leader. It's not something that has to be announced to the whole group. We're not going to embarrass you or announce it or make it a big, you know, spectacle. Um, more than likely, your trip leader has dealt with your situation before. So if you have an upset stomach, are constipated, have clogged a toilet, feel faint, think you injured something, need a hygienic product, or are having an allergic reaction, or anything else that you know could use some attention or assistance, please let us know. We can only help you if you tell us, and we can help you, and we can laugh along the way when it's appropriate. So don't worry about bringing up things that you may feel a little awkward about. Next is medications. So our packing list mentions that bringing any necessary prescription medications or EpiPens um, is something that is so important. Um, in addition to packing these, 
please provide a list of your current medications to your trip leader just in case there was a situation where this information is needed. All right, so freshening up on a trip. So our trips will involve breaking a sweat. Um, it never hurts to have what you need um, to stay feeling refreshed on busy days where you cannot shower between activities. So things like hand sanitizer, shower wipes, or dude wipes are really popular, um, deodorant, mints, etc. Also, just in case, it's not a bad idea to keep some toilet paper in your bag if you run in a situation where you're somewhere that is all out. All right, so you're maybe thinking, oh my gosh, will there be showers? Yes, don't fear. Um, all of our mission trip locations in the Bahamas are equipped with showers, but be mindful that these showers, sometimes there's only two or three of them at each lo location, um, so they must be shared with the entire team taking turns. Um, so Cat Island, if you're going there particularly, is an island that has limited water storage. So we have to limit our water use. So our goal in CAT is to shower using only about one minute of water. So what that looks like is take about 10 seconds to get water on yourself, wet your hair, everything, stop the water, soap, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all the, all the stuff. Um, you know, And then after you finish, turn the water back on, take about 50 seconds to rinse, and then your shower is done. So we know it may take some people longer than others to complete this task, but it, it will look different than how it looks like in our own homes where, you know, we get to leave the shower running and sing and dance in the shower and whatnot. Um, but it will be fine and you'll get used to it. You'll get better at it as the trip goes on. So our last tip is for the ladies specifically. So keep in mind that sometimes travel can impact your menstrual cycle. This is normal. Um, therefore, whether you think you'll need them or not, it is recommended that you pack personal hygienic products that you feel comfortable using just in case, especially since the specific kind that you are used to may not be available in local stores. However, trip leaders will be sure to have some on hand as well, so don't feel um, awkward about asking a trip leader. All right, so those are our tips for taking care of yourself on a trip and helping to ensure your health on the trip. So we are so excited. This is going to be a fantastic trip and these are just a few ways to help make sure that it is.